Last spring, the city of Marlboro, along with 26 other cities and towns across the state, filed a statement with the Massachusetts School Building Authority in hopes of receiving money to help with the construction cost of a new school on the west side of the city. On Wednesday, Marlboro was just one of eight of those communities the board voted to move on to the eligibility phase. And we're really excited about it. We need to take a look at Richard School. It's dated, it's from the mid-60s, uh, but most importantly we had children learning in the facility that um, aren't learning an appropriate learning space. They're under the stairwells, they're in the hallways, they're in closets, and uh, we need some more space, um, but you know whether it's appropriate to you know, raise that building and build something else there or go somewhere else, we have that opportunity to take a look at it now. It is estimated that a new school could cost upwards of $30 million, but because Marlboro would be receiving money from the state, a new building would cost the city significantly less. They reimbursed, I think the last reimbursement project we had was they were reimbursing a, a 64 percent. Uh, so it's, it's a great program, it gives us a great opportunity without burdening in the taxpayers of Marlboro. Um, so they are changing the system. The number won't be that high this time. Uh, we're awaiting the number to find out where we're starting. They do adjust that number every year until the building's built. Uh, but uh, we know it's going to be a substantial reimbursement. And again, without the state's help, I don't think we could do it. Now the question is, where will the new school be built? A school building committee will be formed to help decide on the best location. We're going to actually take them to the site, start the process there, identify if it's a good site or a bad site, and, and see whether other options are out there. You know, we, in Marlboro, we don't have a lot of options for uh, locations, so we have to take a look at that. And the, and the location of the students we're looking to uh, house, so we have to make sure we keep them in mind. That's what this is all about as the kids. Most of Marlboro's schools have been renovated over the years, but this school would be the first to be built since the current Marlboro High School building opened nearly 40 years ago. I don't want to make the same mistakes that were made back then using new, te new theories of teaching. They built them with the open classroom concept. It never really worked, so now you have uh, students walking through other classrooms to get to their back classroom, and it's just, uh, we're not looking to build a building with the latest fad, we're looking to get something up that the kids can learn in and, and have appropriate learning space. Mayor Vingent hopes to have the new school completed in four years. For Marlboro This Week, I'm Zoe Zandora.